Hey guys, it's Nick from Ideal Insight here. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to embed your virtual tour into your website. Um, the tours use the same HTML code that you may have used before to embed your Google Map into your website. Um, and in the over a thousand uh, virtual tours that we have shot and produced, um, we've never had a client who hasn't been able to put the tour onto their website. Um, so any web designer would find this very very simple. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you'll need to load up your tour into Google Maps. Um, so if you just go to uh, Google Maps and in the search field type in your business name and then click the inside box which appears just below um, and then it will load up your tour. Next thing you need to do is you need to choose the exact start point that you wish the tour to appear like on your website. So it's the first thing the customer will see. So what I'll do here is I'm just going to go around this restaurant and I'm going to pick exactly where I want the tour to start and looking around here I mean this place where I started at that looks to me like a beautiful start point I'm at now um, but what I might do instead is I'm going to leave it here just so that it gives the user the opportunity to then move into the private dining space um, so this is my chosen start point. So once you've chosen your start point for your virtual tour and how it appears on your website, the next thing you need to do is you need to grab the HTML code uh, from Google Maps so you can paste it into your web ed editor. So on the top left, uh, you've got this three dots here. Click on that and then share or embed image. And then where it says embed image here, what you'll need to do is then ensure this start point is exactly as you want it to appear, which is exactly as I want it to appear here. Um, and then you can click this drop down to customize the size or change the size, but I'm going to leave it as medium for now. And then once I've placed it onto the website, I'll change around the dimensions as I see fit just to ensure it looks its absolute best. Um, so, next thing you need to do is just copy this HTML code. So, press copy there. Cool. So, after that, go to your web editor, and on the left hand side, as you can see, we use uh, WordPress. On the left hand side here, we've got pages, and then if you go to add new, so we'll just be adding a new page onto the website, and enter title here. So this is the title for the page. I will place it as see inside flow a joy. Cool, and then just below it, if you click text on the right hand side here, just ensure it says text editor and then paste your HTML code into the editor here. So that's it, so um, the first thing you need to do is just make sure that it looks okay on your website, um, so on the right hand side preview your page on the website and it should load us up directly inside Clomajure on the website. And there we go, and it's my exact start point as well which is ideal. So Again, people can navigate their way around, look around and move around the whole restaurant. Um, the one thing I would say is that, as mentioned before about the size, this is a little bit small and I've got all this space I could fill up on the right hand side. Um, so what I'm going to do is if I come out of there, I'm going to go back to the HTML code and where it says width and height, um, it currently says 600, so what I'll do is I'm going to change that to 1000. And where it says height, um, 450 at the moment, I'm going to change it to 650. So once you made those changes, again, if you just click the preview button and it should appear slightly differently. Cool, that is perfect. Nice and big on the website, the right start point, and it was all interactive directly on the site, and that is exactly as I wanted it to appear. So that is how you embed your virtual into your website. Now you've got the opportunity to embed it once. Uh, for larger businesses with multiple rooms, multiple areas, it's quite useful to also embed the tour multiple times on your website. So all you need to do is just repeat the step from the very start, but instead you can move it around. So say if you've got multiple floors on the right hand side, if I click one, it takes us up to um, Clover Joys dot private dining space, so if I click here, I'll be like, okay, and do the step again. And go to here, show embed image, and then I can grab this code and then create another page on the website specifically for this start point.
etc 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 um, so let me show you a couple of tours or a couple of businesses uh, that have embedded their tour into the website and a couple of different styles of how it's done um, so firstly we have uh, Devizes NHS Treatment Centre here um, it's part of a group that we work alongside with called KUK um, and the way they embed the virtuals into their website is they create these tabs here separating each individual area of the uh, treatment center so I could navigate my way all the way through but if I'm not too sure as to where exactly I'm going you can click on these icons here and they'll take you into the exact area you want to see which is very very useful um, another beautiful way of doing it is you embed the tool once into your website but you do it full screen very very interactive way of doing it so it's a full screen virtual tour throughout um, and another way of doing it which we quite liked was to have the names of each individual room as it is on the left hand side here and then on the right hand side you have virtual tour as its own tab here so you people can click on it say uh, let's go to conference room click virtual tour and it loads up inside the conference room here um, and that is it so I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video um, and found it very useful and I hope you're enjoying your uh, new tour. Um, please do subscribe and like our YouTube page, our Facebook page, um, or indeed we'll like you back. Um, and look out for more of our videos which are useful videos to maybe embed the tour into your Facebook page uh, and also some tips and tricks on to how to um, best use your tours. Um, thank you very much for listening and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.